Hello, Dan Erke from DT Systems Equipment and Gundog Success here with Rooster and we're, today we're going to work on teaching your dog how to be steady in the yard. So the equipment we're going to be using today is our tab which is a choke chain with a very short piece of rope on it and whichever dummy works best for your dog. We're using a DT Systems soft mouth bumper. I find it has a good effect on the dog's uh, tendency to carry it proper, properly. And uh, we've got our collar of choice here, our e-collar of choice. This is the DT Systems wrap collar. We're using it because it allows us hands-free action. I can hold the dummy and the rope at the same time and still be able to operate the collar. Sit. I'm gonna put the tab on the dog. Now remember, your dog should be e-collar conditioned and force fetch. In other words, you should be getting a good delivery from your dog, and he should have already been taught the basis of steadiness. We're going to start out and just kind of review, review the basis of steadiness. Um, having an assistant is optimal, but you can do it yourself. So I'm going to show you how you do it yourself at the beginning. First, give your dog the sit command, and then toss the bumper very short. If your dog moves like that, catch him and bring them back. Sit. Just use your choke chain to reinforce the sit command. Sit. Pick up the dummy. This is the most important part. Take the dummy away. Tell the dog again. Sit. Now it might take you several repetitions, but don't send the dog until the dog is calm and focused. As you can see, his rear end is all the way on the ground. Good. Rooster. Heel. This may take a lot of repetition. Sit. Out, good, heel, sit. As the dog progresses and becomes more consistent with staying, you can begin to throw the dummy further and give him more distractions. Sit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If your dog moves at any point, stop him with the lead, pick the bumper up and repeat. Now I'm going to make an e-collar correction with the choke chain. Sit. Sit. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to add some duck calling. One, two, three. Now notice when I'm tempting him, after I've thrown the bumper, I've got no tension on this choke chain. The dog's doing its own work. So I'm definitely not sitting here with tension on that lead. No tension, so I know he's truly sitting on his own. Once he's calm and focused, I'll send him. Rooster. Sit. If you have a helper available, this is my favorite way to run the drill because it's the most efficient. You don't have to take the time to run out there and pick the bumper up. You can have an assistant do all the work while you focus on handling the dog. So have your assistant briefed and knowing that when you give them a hand signal, they toss a bumper. In this case, we're going to have her toss the bumper towards us, so it's really tempting because we're working on steadiness. We want the situation to tempt the dog to break. We've got our, our tab, and we're holding closely on the tab with a loose lead. I've referred to this in the article as a tether. Okay, so we're holding on to the tether. Hey, hey, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Rooster. Heel. Good. Sit. Out. Sit. If your dog breaks, stop him with the tab and the e-collar if your dog understands e-collar pressure, but don't use a lot of pressure. It's repetition and taking away the retrieve that actually trains the dog to be steady. Once your dog understands the concept of steadiness in the yard while you're holding on to the tab, then tie a, a leash or a rope with a clasp on it to a close stationary object. So this is tied to a tree that's, that's close to me. And don't put a lot of slack in the rope, only about maybe six inches, just enough where your dog doesn't feel tension. And use this to allow yourself hands-free action. In other words, if the dog breaks, the 
rope tied to the tree or the stationary object is going to stop the dog for you. Sit. Now, if your dog moves at all, the leash will stop him, pick your bumper up, and start over. Don't release your dog. Don't give him that retrieve until he's calm. Now, if he's calm, you can take the leash that goes to the stationary object off, hold the tab. That way, as you're taking the leash off, you've got, still got control of him. If, if he breaks, ha! Can't get him to break, but if he did break, I could stop him with the tab. And again, I would start over. Start fresh if your dog makes any mistakes. Where's your mark? Nope, where's your mark? Rooster. Heel. Sit. Out. Sit. If your dog is e-collar conditioned and understands steadiness up to this point, in other words, you've run them with the tab, holding the tab, you've run them with the leash to the stationary object. Now remove the tab. And solely use an e-collar correction with a command to reinforce. Now in the gun dog success system, that would be saying the word sit, rapidly followed by a nick if he moves, and picking the bumper up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Where's your mark? Nope, where's your mark? Where's your mark? Rooster. When your dog becomes trustable with the basic scenarios that we just showed you, add more distracting, exciting retrieving scenarios. When you do that, go back to putting the tab on him and repeat the same general procedure that you did with just hand thrown bumpers. Sit. We're using a DT Systems dummy launcher powered by a 22 caliber load, so it's nice and loud. It's going to provide a, a very realistic mark and the gun noise. Sit. One, two, three, four. Rooster. Just like the initial sequence where we were hand throwing bumpers in the yard, when the dog becomes trustable with a long check cord affixed to a stationary object, then we can take our tab off sit, not use our leash, and run leash free. And we just use the e-collar to make a correction. As you can see with this particular transmitter, I can actually make a very timely reinforcement with both hands operating the dummy launcher. Sit. Soon you'll find your dog calm and composed when there's a lot of distractions and ready to take it to the field. One, two, three, four. Rooster.